everything I'm going to give you in this video is like exactly what you need to know under the productivity bonus scheme, okay? So, let us go. We have the house sale bonus scheme. You can see the spelling. House sale bonus scheme. We have the house sale wear bonus scheme. And we we'll have the row one bonus scheme. Now, the formulas to this, and we must know these formulas, okay? Now, when we talk about the house sale bonus scheme, we we'll have the formula as this. We we'll have one over two times TS times BR, okay? Here we have one over three times TS times BR. And in this last one, row 1 bonus scheme, we have TT over TA times TS times BR. Okay? So, it goes this way. When we talk about TS, TS means what? Time saved. TS means time saved. Okay? BR means the basic rates. Basic rates. Okay, the same thing applies here. TT. When we say TT, TT means what? Time taken. And TA, TA means what? Time allowed. Time allowed. Okay. So we also have some like we have the BP. BP here talks about what? The basic pay basic pay all right so this value this formula is very very important to solve any question meanwhile to understand them better what time allowed really means what time taking means and what they talk about what the basic pay means and so on and so forth i will advise you to copy out the link you can see below the screen then you practice as in you go visit our website and you work with it okay it will give you a better and a clear definition on what I am actually doing or what I'm talking about. So, there is one more thing I need to tell you in this video. Now, there are ways you present your table. Sometimes the table needs to come in a tabular form, okay? Especially for students in last protect, there is a particular format they use, all right? But I'll advise you to watch the three videos I have, irrespective of your school. Watch the three videos. It's going to help you have an understanding on the video. I did one video for the students in last protect. Another video for the video for the students in Yabate and one more video to give you a general knowledge just like this introductory video I'm doing right now. So it goes this way. Most times if you want to present your question, you need to draw a table format. You need to follow a format. And it's really going to help you understand the concept very well. It's going to help you understand the concept very well. And it goes this way. We have the table like this. Okay. First Okay, it goes this way. Then we have the name. Name. Okay, you can see that we have the name. After the name, we have the time taken. Time taken. Okay, so after the time taken, we'll talk about what? The basic rates. Basic rates. Okay, then after the basic rate, we we'll talk about the basic pay. Basic pay. Then after the basic pay, we we'll talk about the bonus. Then one more. After the bonus, we'll now talk about what? After the bonus, we'll now consider what? The total wages. Total wages. Alright? So, it is very important to know this, all right, and the steps it goes. Now, in some questions, if you are asked to get the gross pay, which is also like the total pay, there are steps you need to take. And if you don't understand what I want to explain now, you'll find it difficult to derive the correct answer, okay? What if you are told to get the gross pay or the total wages? How do you go about it? You can't just jump from here to here, all right? There are steps you take. Now, it goes this way. This is time taken. This is basic rate, basic pay, bonus, and the total wages. If the time taken will be given in the question, 
the basic rates will also be given in the question. All right. Now, to determine your basic pay, you multiply the values you have here to get your basic pay. Then, to get your bonus, you will now work with either of these three formulas, either house bonus scheme, house where, or the raw bonus scheme. Okay, that you use in getting the bonus. Then, to get your total wages, you will now add the values you get here to have the total wages, which is also the cross pay. It goes this way. For example, this is Charles. Time taken, we have, let's say we have 5. Basic rates, let's say we have 10. Okay? Now, to get the basic pay, we multiply, alright? We multiply, okay? So you say what? TT, right? Times BR, okay? TT is what? The time taken times the BR, which is the basic rate. It is equal to what? The BP, which is the basic pay. So 5 times 10 gives us 50. Okay? This is how to get your basic pay. Now, when we talk about the bonus, if you are solving for row 1 bonus scheme or a well bonus scheme, you remember the formula. The only difference is the 1 over 2, 1 over 3. Okay? If, depending on the formula you are solving for, whatever answer or whichever answer you have, if you solved for the house bonus scheme, all right? And let's say, for instance, your final answer is 10, your final answer here is 15, your final answer here is 20, okay? Now, what happens? The answer you get here is what you bring as the bonus, all right? So, to now get your total wages, you will now add up these two values, all right? So, to get the total wages or the gross pay, we say the basic pay plus the bonus, all right? It's equals to the gross pay. You say cross pay or you still say total wages, all right? So 50 plus 10 is equal to 60. That is your system. Now, depending on the amount of workers that you've been asked to work for, in some questions, they will still go further to tell you to determine the total remuneration of the workers. So let's assume as we have 60, we have another transaction here, we had another record here, which gave us, let's say we have 10 and we have 20. Now, when we sum these values up, this is 60, 70, and 90. So, 90 here represents the total remuneration of the workers. All right? So, understand this concept very well because to give you an edge to understand labor costing very well. Take note of this table. It will help you no matter your school. It's going to go a long way to help you to understand labor costing. All right? Remember, time taken times basic rate is equal to basic pay. Basic pay plus bonus is equal to the gross pay or the total wages. All right? Take note of this formula as many times as you can. Use it to try several questions, okay, to get a better understanding. So, the first video, you're going to see a practical question for the students in Yabatech and also for you, okay? No matter the school you attend, it's going to help you understand labor costing. Likewise, the second video and the third video. So, four videos on the labor costing. Wow, it's very nice. Thanks for your time and do have a precious day. We wish you the best in all you do and we wish you success in your examinations. Thank you.